My name is Bala Amarasegren. I'm the founder and program director of uh, Takugama Chimpanzee Sanctuary in uh, Sierra Leone. The sanctuary was established 24 years ago, mainly to rescue and rehabilitate the orphan chimpanzees. But over the years, we realized that was just addressing to the symptom. There are wider issues that we need to find what are the drivers behind all these orphan chimpanzees coming to Takugama. So we started working with the government and the communities, and uh, we uh, came up that, with a solution that we need to do a lot more in the wild. We need to start looking at the species, not about the number of chimpanzees that have come to Takugama. So we started working along those lines, and uh, over the years, now we have become a renowned conservation organization within the country, and uh, we are trying to address this problem through various means. The law enforcement and the rehabilitation component, the welfare of the animals, that is one side of things. But then again, we are very much into research and development because without proper science, without proper conservation uh, research, you cannot really understand the problems. Uh, then that means you cannot mitigate. So because of this, we formed three components within Takugama. One is the Takugama Outreach Program. The other one is the Takugama Environmental Education Program and the ecotourism component. And the first one is mainly the, the conservation research is based on, uh, at least it's trying to address uh, communities' needs and to see what are the problems, what are the drivers behind all these destructions, why these chimpanzee populations are dwindling all the time. Uh, Sierra Leone still has about 6,000 wild chimpanzees and this is critically endangered, the western chimpanzee and this is something needs to be protected uh, and this is why Takugama is forever we think it's not enough by just being at Takugama and addressing these issues with orphan chimpanzees. So the outreach program is looking at um, working with communities, looking at community forests, how to protect, how to protect the catchments, how to protect the water sources for these communities um, and also we have forestry programs with the communities also looking at sustainable livelihood projects whether it's agriculture or livestock, um, health and hygiene, these are all issues we need to be constantly addressing. Uh, in a poor country like that, without that human involvement, uh, we cannot practice conservation. Uh, the, that is one of the reasons we started working with the communities and uh, looking at biomonitoring done by the communities themselves. And the other thing is if you start looking at uh, wild places and areas that needs protection. You need to create value for this place. People don't get it. People don't understand why you need to protect this. They look at an empty forest as something they can just go and plunder. And ecotourism component addresses that because with these small communities we can create some spaces around them where they tend to value. They think there is there is because ecotourism feeds in some resources back into the community. And through this venture, Takugama is a model. At the moment, uh, part of our being, I mean, sustaining Takugama, the resources are also coming from the ecotourism component. And at the moment, we are trying to replicate this in some other areas across uh, Sierra Leone. The other thing is the education component because you need to catch them young. So we work with lots of schools across the country and also we work with uh, communities across the country. Uh, we are also very active in the media, both print and the social media. And this also takes us to another level where we will be able to network with similar organizations that are um, addressing environmental issues. And we can also take that to another level by providing advocacy and giving voice to some of these issues. So that is the, uh, the education side of things. Uh, but all this cannot be done in isolation. This is why we need everyone's support, uh, because what stops us is basically resources. We can do a lot more. Takugama has the vision, we have the courage, we have the passion, uh, but I think we need more people to come in. We live in a global society now, it's not about you and me. Whatever I do here is going to affect you there, and whatever you do there is going to affect me here. So we all need to think alike, we need to think it's a family and we, Takugama is not no more a sanctuary, it's a movement and we really, really with open arms we are welcoming all of you to come and join this movement and I think that's where we can make a difference together.